The invasion dungeons are going to be a lot easier to be done. So let's dive into this video, not to waste much of your time. A new updates coming up in the invasion dungeons will be a lot easier. The developers are hearing you guys out. They know you guys are having a lot of difficulties. You're getting frustrated and it's not a very good quality of the state of how you're enjoying the game. So the developers have gone done, uh, and done the following, which is, this is um, Min Seak Yu. He is the first descender director. Uh, pretty much summary, I'm letting you guys know here, they put out a developer's note, uh, volume number 13. Modifications, invasions, dungeons, invasion reinforcement, reduced difficulty of puzzle mechanics, buff inverse reinforcement, and delete penalty in the next week 1.1.1 update. So this is going to come live which is going to be on tuesday so if you were looking at tuesday it's going to be next week improve haley farming process a lot of you guys said that this is more difficult so what they've done is they're going to increase the drop rate and this is coming in this week's update which is 1.1.0 v it's a hot fix so probably it's going to come out later today and then improve development process of the FGT and prior feedback in consideration. And also improve community communications. And they will be doing their best to be make better, better, much better communication. So there you go. That is a summary. So the puzzles will be a lot easier. They won't be as difficult. Um, what they're gone done is the following. For Invasion Dungeons to provide faster, uh, better experience, they will lower the difficulty of the puzzle mechanics and will modify the monster spawning. So in this case, when you are doing for the order of truth, which is going to be, um, I think this week, but it's not being implemented for this week. It's going to be for next week. It says to make it easier. Remember the pattern will be simplified and arch pillars without pattern will be deleted. The director of the arch pillar will be adjusted. There's I'm um, sorry. The direction of the arch pillar will be adjusted to look toward the battle area and the drone pattern instead of being uh, horizontal the way it is now is going to be vertical so that is something different so instead of looking left to right you're going to look up and down the same way the pillars are going to be so it's going to be a lot easier for you to know which drone to go to also to make a gameplay exper experience better the tumors that cover the pattern and the ones that block the door will be easier to destroy it. Also, tumors were once destroyed will not be regenerated. In this case, you have to make it in one, um, in two consecutive uh, sequences. So in this case, if you destroy one and you die, what happens now is that you have to redo all of them. But in this case, if you die trying to do the second one, then once you come back, you still can do the second one, even if you die. So that would be a lot easier. I think that might just improve um, everybody's uh, the way they're going to enjoy it. Now, for the Legion Darkness, which was yesterday, that's what the um, challenge was on the dungeon. The occupation of times of the arch tile is shorted to the tile will be rearranged so that they are more easily distinguishable. The number of wrong arch tiles will be reduced and self-destructive monsters, which steals the arch, which are those guys that once they step on it, uh, you lose the arch. Tile will be deleted in color puzzles. Symbols will be added. So uh, players with color weaknesses, <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Man, I was having such a hard problem with my uh, color blindnesses. I couldn't see certain colors the way it was, and it was tough. It was rough, but I guess. <laughs> color weaknesses will be now easily enjoyed in the game. Lastly, barrier HP for name monsters will be weakened. There you go. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this update. Um, definitely, the developers are listening and is this pretty much does this satisfy you guys uh, as going in there solo i know it's not a two-man team and i don't think they're going to make that change but they simplify things so another thing is also the um just like other legion puzzles mechanics for the legion immortality will be modified in easier way 
as invasions event for legion immortality starts today based on today's feedback will be be more uh, specific counter measurements so have that in mind so if you're doing that um there you'll be notified of an easier way to be able to do that so also guys don't forget to hit me up with that like button it does really appreciate without you guys uh, smashing the like you know the video doesn't go out and google does not promote it so also inversion reinforcement will be also be improved to let everyone fully enjoy the inversion reinforcement system we are planning to buff most of the effects and will delete the penalty <sighs> yes they should have not done it from the beginning why add penalties to something that you're buffing i'm telling you like whenever you reach to the higher ones you're like well there's really no improvement here because you're getting more of a negative of a penalty instead of a plus and then modifications to the difficulty invasion dungeons uh and inversion reinforcement will be fixed next thursday oh this is gonna be next thursday guys uh throughout the update we will try our best uh to let everyone fully enjoy the invasion dun dungeon in more comfortable ways after that we're planning to add a matchmaking system so users can play the invasion dungeons as multiple mo multiplayer modes. So I guess they are going to implement a uh, two-man team. So GG, and now that becomes a lot easier. So who knows how it's going to go now. Maybe it's just going to become way too easy. Also, the drop rate of Haley research material enhanced cells, DNA, stabilizers, spiral catalysts, and data ship innovations and infiltration operations will be increased. And also our developer team wanted everyone, including our users who only have limited time to finish Haley in 12 average days. Also, we wanted to support users who can invest a lot of time to farm Haley faster throughout infiltrations. So overall, the way you're going to farm Haley, I know it's a new method, guys. I know it is. We got to give it a chance, okay? So with chances, better things may happen. So it's going to be a lot easier. You're going to get a more drop rates increase, and it's just going to be make the game a lot more healthier. However, the uh, accommodate opinion that Haley's farming takes too long we're planning to increase the drop rate of Haley's research materials about two times faster. So you can get that twice faster. So definitely it's going to be a lot easier and faster to be able to do that. That drop rate um, for Haley's research materials will be updated this Saturday. So it's going to be next uh, tomorrow if you're watching this video today. Furthermore, we will improve our development process to meet the experience of our players in future updates we are considering having fgt which is a focus group testing after development it's uh completed or in uh, inviting players to gather feedback before the update is released in cooperation feedback you know gg's right there so i'm down to it just letting you know we test it out and see what works and what doesn't our dev team has been listening to various opinions about the first major update from the community we will continue to respond quickly in issues communicate improvement directions and transparently and do our best to ensure uh, uh descendants can enjoy the first ascendant for a long time thank you First Ascendants developers, make sure you guys give the First Ascendants a, uh, some hugs, some love in the comments. And if you're on Reddit or whatever, just let them know. They, they're doing a good job, guys. They're doing the best. They want to make this game very, very enjoyable. And they want to make it to last for, uh, for a very long time. Thank you for watching. Also, don't forget Twitch. Twitch drops are live now. So if you want to uh, go to our... Uh, Twitch, which is uh, Twitch forward slash laserball, go there and uh, you're going to be able to get uh, the chance to be able to uh, get all the Twitch drops for uh, the start today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.